Scattered throughout the cosmos lie the remains of a once great civilization extinguished in their prime. But how did this happen? And what was responsible? Join us as we unravel this mystery and more as we go directly into the lives of the Forerunners. The Forerunners were originally from a beautiful world named Gibal, having been seeded by their creators, the Precursors, many millennia ago. Life was tranquil and pure, and then the Forerunners pulled a Forerunner and Forerunnered up the planet by essentially nuking their entire system with them in it. Needless to say, the Precursors were not impressed. Unfortunately for the rest of the perfectly rational universe, the Forerunners managed to survive this blunder and went on to colonize new worlds, spreading themselves about like a disgusting parasite. As time went on, the Forerunners created impressive machines like the Monitors. As previously covered, these handsome devils were built to act as caretakers of important facilities. Alas, Despite their genius, some monitors were not given meaningful purpose to their existence and ultimately went rampant as the centuries flew by. Space. This tater harvest is going to be my most bountiful yet. What do you think, Mr. Lightbulb? I keep telling you, I'm not a monitor. I'm a human trapped in a monitor shell. Well, la di da Maybe you can use your human hands to help me pick up some of these taters then, hmm? Ah. As information regarding the Forerunners became harder to obtain due to malfunctioning terminals and blackouts, freelance research teams were dispatched in the hopes that we may learn more about this once great civilization. Our research department was one such team, and through our extensive investigation into the Forerunners, we made a shocking discovery. Their architects were bonkers. Completely and utterly bonkers. However, in 2557, a single forerunner survivor by the name Shadow of Sundered Star was able to escape the Shield World Requiem with the help of John 117, a beacon of hope for humanity and clear research enthusiast. Human scientists excitedly gathered in New Phoenix to greet the last Forerunner, only to discover that he might be a bit of a knob. Gee, I sure hope he likes our planet. Shh, something's happening. Due to his unprovoked attack on New Phoenix, and presumably for being an unbearable person to be around, the didact was quickly dispatched by research-hating idiot John117 who left the didact stranded on a halo ring to have a serious think about his naughty, naughty behavior. And so it seems as if we are doomed to forever forget this once great race. That is until something else takes control of their weapons of mass destruction, putting the entire galaxy in jeopardy once again, because for all their genius and accomplishments, the Forerunners could never quite figure out how bloody keys were supposed to work. 